walk you through an awesome, easy beginner sewing project, which is to make these adorable doll sleeping bags. I have done a few things differently between this one, which was essentially my practice run, and this one, which is the finished project. If you can see already, you can see I've got a seam here that is missing on this side. So I think it's important to have that seam. So I'll talk you through adding that for sure. And then my boys saw that I made these adorable doll sleeping bags and wanted some of their own. So they don't play with dolls. I have these dolls for when my nieces and nephews come over. My boys love their Beanie Boos. So I made a different version for their Beanie Boos. They didn't want that cute little hood on the back of the sleeping bag, which I think is adorable. They wanted a pillow, so I added a pillow. When I'm going through this tutorial, it's all the same steps, whether you're doing this one in this size or this one in this size, and I have the sizing for both. I would say that this is about a medium-sized doll, and these are the six-inch Beanie Boos. So all of the steps are the same until you get to a certain point, and then obviously it's a decision of whether you want that cute little hood on your sleeping bag or you want an added pillow. I'll talk you through both of those steps. So I hope that you will try this project and let's just jump right into that tutorial. All right, so the first thing I'd like to mention is that I'm going to have all of the dimensions for both sizes listed on my blog and I'll have that linked down below. So the first thing that you'll do is you'll lay your batting down. Make sure it's a thinner batting and not a very thick batting as you'll be doing a lot of folding with this fabric and you don't want it to get so bulky that it's hard to put through the sewing machine. Then you'll lay your red, the red piece of fabric here down right side up and then this blue piece of fabric you'll lay down right side facing down. And at this point, you do not need to worry about which side will be your top and your bottom. You'll make that decision later. Then pin all the way around, making sure that you leave a space, about a three inch space that you will not sew. I like to mark this piece with a pin so that I don't forget and sew over it. And this is where you will be able to turn it right side out once you have done this seam. I do this seam at about a quarter of an inch. Don't forget to do a back stitch when you start and stop. And the one thing about sewing layers of fabric together is that often some of your layers will get pulled through your sewing machine at a different rate than others, mainly because the feed dogs are pulling the bottom fabric through, but the top fabric is just kind of being guided through by your hands. So if that's something that frustrates you, then I would recommend using a walking foot. And a walking foot will pull that top fabric through at the same rate that the bottom fabric is being pulled through. All right, so once you have sewn all the way around these three pieces of fabric, then cut those corners close to the points of the thread. That way it'll reduce bulk when you turn it right sides out. And so turning it right side out will be the next step in this process. And once you have turned this entire thing right sides out, then you can take a pencil or a chopstick and just push out those points, being very careful not to push too hard, creating a hole that you'll have to fix. to quickly press your project to make it easier to sew those extra seams. And you'll have that opening that you also will want to press. That way they are folded in and easy to sew over without being too finicky. Now just a note, this open part here that I'm ironing in, that will be the hooded part of the sleeping bag. And then the closed seam on the other side will end up being folded upwards and will become the edging that you will see right below the doll's chin. 
So once everything has been ironed, take the one side that does not have that opening and sew a quarter inch seam along it. And now it's time to customize your sleeping bag so that it will fit your doll perfectly. So lay your doll in there and then just pin up the hood. That way you can tuck the doll up into the hood And then you can fold your fabric upwards, tuck it under the doll's chin, and then fold it down to where you think it would look best, and then pin those folds as well. Then add those folds to the back of the sleeping bag. Undo the hood because now you know where you want to sew along the outer edge. I use another pin here just to mark where that fold will stay because of course this is the way I want my sleeping bag to look when it's finished, which means I actually have to reverse all of this. So flip that fabric over, fold it to where you marked and then attach it all together. I like to use these clips instead of pins because the fabric does get to be a bit thick. Now, if you did not want to do the hood for the doll and you would rather just do a pillow, then there is a step that you would want to do before folding this fabric over and sewing all the way around. You would want to sew a seam along that center. That way you have created a pocket to stuff for your pillow. I will show you that once I finish showing you how to do this doll sleeping bag. All right, so now that everything is pinned and ready to be sewn, you will take it to your sewing machine and sew a quarter inch seam around all three sides that I'm showing you here. Now before sewing that seam, if you want to do the pillow, this is how you would do the pillow. You would take the side where you've got that open section still and measure down from there three inches for your stuffed animal and about six inches for a doll. Mark it and then sew a seam along that edge. That way you can now stuff your pillow with polyfill and then sew around all three seams to finish your project. For my stuffed animal size, because it's so small, I did not fold over that outer edge the way that I did for the doll sleeping bag. All right, so when it is time to sew all three edges, of course, don't forget to backstitch when you start. But another place that I like to do a backstitch is right here over that thicker piece of fabric. And then I'll go all the way around, making sure to finish that open seam. Backstitching again over that thicker fabric. If you're having issues sewing over that thick fabric, I just suggest lifting up on your presser foot just a little bit as it will help the needle go through all of that fabric. And now to add the hood. Before you turn it right side out, you still have that fold on the inside, which is good. Put your doll into the pocket and then fold that hood up and pin it into place. Then take the doll out and you will sew another seam along that top edge. Now I don't have an exact measurement for the seam that you'll want to sew. Essentially what you'll want to do is you'll want to sew just below the seam that you already see there. That way when you turn it right side out, you will not see any of your seams because it will be hidden within the reverse fold. If you end up sewing a little bit above that seam, then what will happen when you turn it right side out is you will actually see the first seam, which you don't want. All right, we're almost there. That top seam has been sewn and now it's time to turn it right side out and then take a pencil so that you can push out the three points and your sleeping bag is done. What do you think? I think it's pretty cute. As you can see in this photo here, the one on the left, I did not do that added seam and it is perfectly fine. However, I do like it with that finished quarter inch seam. And that, my friends, is how you make a little sleeping bag for your six inch Beanie Boo or a bigger sleeping bag for your doll. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe for more creative content. Click that thumbs up button if you like
like this tutorial and click that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I love it. And my boys love these.